A blessed morning to everyone po. Maranata Shalom. Jesus Christ is coming soon. And welcome to our daily devotion po ngayong umaga. And I believe so that God has prepared something for each one of us, most especially ang kanyang mga salita po. So huwag na po natin itong patagalin. Let us come in prayer this morning. Father in heaven, we praise you, we honor you, we exalt you. Thank you for your wonderful love that never changed. Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who gave up his life, oh God, so that we are able to experience your presence of God. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that is living within us, dwelling within us. Lord, we thank you, God, dahil alam po namin ikaw po yung Diyos na nagbibigay ng katagumpayan sa bawat buhay ng bawat isa. We thank you, Lord, as we hear your word this morning. We pray that it will become a rema in our hearts as we know it as a logo. We pray, O oh God, that it will change our thoughts, it, should, it will change our mindset, it will change, Lord, our being, and will transform us for your glory alone, God. Salamat po, pagbalain mo po ang bawat oras, ang bawat uh, sandali ng aming pakikinig ng iyong salita. Purihin ang iyong dakilang pangalan sa pangalan ng aming Panginoong Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. So ngayong umaga po, really want to share to you verse that is familiar to some and I believe this is ito po yung napapanahon po sa ating mga panahon pong ito. So today our topic is to walk wisely or walking wisely. We can read it in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 16, I mean verse 15 to 17. Ang sabi po doon, look carefully then how you walk. Not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. Verse 17, therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. So we believe that these coming days in our generation, technology is arising. Kaya ngayong umaga po, God is challenging every one of us, to those who believe in Him, that we should walk wisely because the days are evil. As technology are rising, so our lives must walk wisely. I'm not telling po that we will become uh, wise in our thoughts or wise in our own thoughts or in our, our own terms po. Hindi ko po sinasabi na kailangan maging valedictorian po tayo, maging matalino tayo sa mga bagay-bagay po na meron tayo sa pag-aaral or in academics. But if it is God's will and you have that, do it for the glory of the living God. But what the Bible is saying right now, what the Bible is telling right now is we have to be wise in our own walk dito po sa mundong ibabaw. Most especially, in these evil times that we have na po, in the Lord. So ngayong hap, umaga pong ito, I really want to share five things enabled for us to walk wisely. Na po, as Bible says, sabi doon, for us to understand the will of God, we will not walk foolish, but we have to walk wisely. And every most of the time that we have, making every opportunity in this moment. So ngayong Hapon, I mean, umaga pong ito, I'm going to share something to you po that will help us to become wise or enable for us to walk wisely before the Lord. So I'll share the first one. Sabi po ng Proverbs chapter 11, verse 30b. Ang sabi po doon, sabi doon, He who wins souls are wise. Okay? Proverbs 11, verse 30b. It says, ang sabi po doon, he who wins soul are wise. So the first thing enabled for us to walk wisely in these end times is we have to win souls because we believe soul is the heartbeat of the living God and I believe so that's the thing that we are going to do. Na po, kailangan po tayo magwin ng souls. We have to witness before the Lord Jesus Christ because we believe to win souls is to be wise for eternity. Not only here in this world but even in the coming days or eternal days we will be wise in the eyes of the living God if we are winning souls before the Lord. Second thing in 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 in able for us to walk wisely before the Lord or in this end times na tinatawag po. po 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 it says, ang sabi po doon, stop deceiving yourselves if you think you are wise by this world standard, you need to become fool to be truly wise. So ngayong umaga pong ito, Bible are saying or Corinthians are challenging us na po, to become foolish first. Enable for us to walk wisely and understand the will of the living God, we have to be foolish first. Okay? What does it mean po? It simply means we have to drop all our human knowledge to gain 
to gain an understanding of God's will in our life. Again, we have to drop our all human knowledge to gain an understanding of God's will in our life. Hindi po pwedeng Google po tayo. Hindi po pwedeng acne tayo that we are all knowing because it's only God can knows everything. Only God can knows all sa buhay po natin. And enable for us to walk wisely, we have to drop all human knowledge for us to understand the will of the living God. And the key for it, enable for us to become foolish first. You, the, the key here is humility. We've got to humble ourselves. We have to drop everything before the Lord so that we can walk wisely and even in the will of the living God, most especially in this end times. Because I believe those people who are wise can endure and persevere until the end. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20. Okay, yung pangatlong puntos po. Sabi po ng Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20, ang sabi po doon, Okay, walk in the wise and become wise. Associate with fools and get in trouble. Okay po, Proverbs 13 verse 20, it says, no, ang sabi po doon, we have to associate with the wise. Enable for us to walk walk wisely in these end times or in these difficult times or evil times. We have to associate ourselves with the wise. Remember, no, where you are associated is what you become. Kung sino ang madalas nakasama mo, yun ang magiging ka. So, remember that. Dikitan po natin yung mga taong makakatulong sa pagpapalago nating spiritual. Let us come and gather and associate ourselves for those people who can help us to grow in our faith. Because Bible says, sabi po ng Proverbs 13 verse 20, we have to associate with the wise. If we are associating with the fools, it says, sabi po ng verse na yan, we have troubles in our lives. So we cannot persevere, we cannot, we cannot endure till the end if we are not walking wisely before the Lord. That's why the challenge of Proverbs 13 verse 20 to us, we have to associate, we need to have a circle of people who are really wise in the eyes of the living God. Let's go in Proverbs chapter 19 verse 20. Ang sabi po ng Proverbs 19 verse 20. Okay? Sabi po dito, get all the advice and instruction you can so you will be the wise the rest of your life. The fourth thing, na po, the fourth things enable for us to walk wisely in these end times. Sabi po ng Proverbs 19 verse 20, we have to listen and accept the counsel and the discipline of the wise. We've got to understand that we have to get everything, na po, most especially in these times, we need to gather all the data that the uh, the the council or the wise people are telling us. Most especially are those people that God has given to us, the authority that God has given to each one of us. We have to listen and not just listen, but to accept those counsel and the discipline that they're giving to each one of us, so that we are able to be trained walking wisely before the Lord. Because in Proverbs 12 verse 15 it says, "Sabi po don, fools are." those people who do right in their own ways. But wise are those people who listens to the counsel. Na po, mangmang or fools yung mga taong sa tingin nila, sila ay laging tama in their own eyes. But those people who listen to those counsel or to the counsel of the wise, na po, they are those people who are wise. That's why Proverbs says that we have to gather all the data, we have to hear, we have to accept every counsel and discipline of every wise people na binigay sa atin ng Panginoon so that we are able to be trained walking wisely before the Lord and most especially to these coming days. Because today, I believe so, this generation, the deception of the enemy, the rise of the false prophet, the rise of the fool's people are rampant today. That's why we have to be wise in understanding the will of the living God. Lastly, po, Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 2. A wise person chooses the right road. A fool takes the wrong one. The fifth tip enabled for us to walk wisely in these end times or in these evil times. Ecclesiastes 10 to it says, Choose a right path. Okay? The fruit of result of being wise is leading us to do the right thing in all aspects or in the eyes of the living God. Again, 
we have to choose the right path. God has given us the wisdom. God has given us the knowledge to choose what is right for us. That's why Ecclesiastes 10.2, it says, we need to choose the right path in able for us to become wise in this end times. We have to choose the right path. We have to do the right thing because you are wise when you are led in every right thing that you do in the eyes of the living God. You are considered wise when you're doing right thing before the Lord. And therefore, we conclude that if you really want to persevere, to endure, and to go on to your faith and wait till the come of the Lord Jesus Christ and to have impact to this world, we need to walk wisely before the Lord. Amen po ba? We have to walk wisely before the Lord. Alright? It's not by our own knowledge. It's not by our own understanding. But through the power of the Spirit of the living God and through the wisdom and knowledge that God has given to each one of us. Our life will become an impact if we are wise before the Lord. Again, it's not about academically. It's not about being smart or wise philosophically na po hindi po doon na po dito po ang pinag-uusapan po is about our lives our Christian lives our lives before the Lord na po we have to be wise that's what God wills in our lives today and to end of this before we pray let's have a recap for us to be wise or to walk wisely in these evil times na po there are five tips that I've given to you first we have to win souls as Proverbs 11.30 30b says then second thing become foolish first as first corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 says proverbs 13 verse 20 the third one is associate with the wise and the fourth one in proverbs 19 verse 20 listen and accept the counsel and discipline of the wise and then lastly ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 2 choose a right path and i believe so enable for us to understand the will of the living god only those people who are wise in the eyes of God are those people who can really understand the will of the living God. And I hope today that you will walk wisely and understand the will of our God in this coming days. And I hope that you are blessed through the word of the living God. Let us leave every word that we have heard today. Let us come in prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you, God. Today we drop everything unto your name because we believe, O oh God, that depart from you, we can do nothing. Depart from you, Lord, there's nothing to boast. So today we ask for your wisdom. We ask for your knowledge. As your word says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. We really want to walk wisely before you, O oh God. We really want to distinguish your will and even our will, O oh God. And we really want to be submitted unto your will, God. Ano man po yung gusto mong gawin, yun po ang mapangyari so that we will become wise in your eyes. And we know, God, as we understand your will, Lord, we will endure and persevere, O God, everything that is taking place in our lives until you return. Father, we thank you for the victory that you've given to us through your words. You have transformed our ideas. You have transformed our opinion. You have transformed our heart through your mighty words, O God. And I believe so that, Lord, every single day we will be wise, not in our own eyes, but we will be wise according to your will, O God. Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you for guiding us and leading us in all truth of God. We give you the praise, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you worship for everything that you've done in our lives. This is all we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. So God bless you all, guys. Every kissing is a blessing. To God be the glory.